Well, I've just been listening to Gold's Friday Night 50s and Friday Night 60s. Um, I've just been reminiscing, to be honest, about old times because we saw Josh yesterday, my very old friend. I've known him since he was three. He's now 14. He is having cancer treatment and hopefully by the 17th of December he will have recovered. He hasn't been in here since 2016 and obviously I've got a hell of a lot to sort out. Good thing about that is this, if he comes say in March or April or even May, whenever it is next year, then I have quite a lot of time to sort it out, but I also have the drive now to sort it out. So I'm very glad about that. And to be honest, when you buy models every few days, is it any wonder it's in this state? Plus, we have the new shelf down there that hasn't really gone in yet. It needs painting as well. And we've got the corner shelf down there that also needs to go in. So we have got a hell of a lot to do. Um, and to be honest, the, there is times where you come in here, you reminisce about good old times, but you also reminisce about the really, really bad times that have been in here. And when I say really bad, I really, really do mean that. Um, it's not like me to, um, shall we say, blitz a few shelves. I did that a few years ago because I never, I had a massive breakdown. Uh, the reason is, is because the women last X was with me. So, but the thing is, is also it's not just 2016 when Josh came in here. When we first um, met the whole family back in 2011. He came in then, he used to push me Oxfords. He used to have such a good time, you know. And, um, yeah, a lot of memories. Um, also, on the 28th of December, it's 12 years. Yes, 12 years of the model room. This is featured in Diecast Collector magazine. This features um, on Facebook, the model groups every few days, um, hashtag inside the model room, and, of course, on this channel as well. So there is a lot to do, a lot of preparation, and, of course, I've got to think of something big for that anniversary. And I know the 10th year anniversary is usually, you know, what you go on out for. But 12 years, and because we can't find a big enough house, and because all of the other four-bedroom houses that we've seen are just way too dear, especially my spending habit anyway, um, I reckon that this room... I'll probably even be celebrating the 15th anniversary when it comes around. That's what I reckon. And also, most of these models, apart from some of the Corgi ones, uh, the Oxford boxes, we've used them as shelves. So when it um, comes to packing them up and shipping them out, I'm going to need a hell of a lot of help. I'm going to need a hell of a lot of boxes. It's going to be just an absolute nightmare, to be honest. And I am so not looking forward to that. Um, a fun fact as well. The average Briton moves six times in their lifetime. And apparently it's one of the most stressful things you can do. Yeah, I believe that. Anyway, so that's just a very uh, quick video about um, tonight, which is obviously bonfire night, 5th of November. A hell of a lot of fireworks have gone off. And I wish I was out there looking at some bonfires now, but it's really cold. And without the heater on in here. It's like I'm inside a fridge. So anyway, we'll go and do a bit of gaming. Watch um, possibly um, 1958's Campbell's Kingdom. And uh, possibly listen to some more old tunes. So anyway, I'll leave it there. And more shorts in the model room coming up. And maybe even a live video. I think that's what we'll do. A live video on the 28th of December. Where I'll sort that out. I'll get um, try and get everything cleared up.